Hi, I'm student producer Paul Joyner. This week on Local Buzz, we head out west on 50 Highway to Christmas Tree Hill in Centerview. The business, founded 33 years ago, grows and sells Christmas trees on the family farm as well as various other holiday knickknacks. The farm was started in 1981. Uh, we planted trees that first year and we sold our first ones in 1987 and we've been in operation ever since. They come about a foot or two foot, and then they grow a foot a year. So they planted them in 80, 81, and then 87 was the first year we actually sold seven foot trees. The business has now been with the family for generations. Though the season for Christmas tree sales is narrow, upkeep and care for the trees keeps the family busy year round. For our farm, it's to grow a tree, it takes about eight years. Some farms are a little faster growing, but our soil it takes about eight years to get a tree to about six foot. It's actually all year round for people to come and buy Christmas trees. It's usually the weekend after Thanksgiving and then every weekend until the week prior to Christmas. But during the year, we have to plant our trees, we have to trim our trees, we have to maintain. We've got to keep the scale and the critters off of it. It's, it's a year round job for sure. Apart from being farmers, the family also produces their own Christmas crafts, offering new designs and ideas every holiday season. Besides Christmas trees, we have uh, table decorations, wreaths. My uh, nephew has wooden ornaments, and then my granddaughter has other Christmas decorations this year. Especially intricate are Carl Rep's hand-carved wooden ornaments. The designs I use are pretty complicated most of the time. It takes anywhere from an hour to two hours to cut them out sometimes. And that's one to two hours per ornament. Some can take even longer. The farm also offers a few freebies for its guests, such as candy canes and hot chocolate. But there's also another interesting treat handed out for the kids to leave for Santa's reindeer. Santa always gets cookies under the tree, but the poor old reindeer out there don't have anything. So in order to keep them happy, the children put magic reindeer hay outside. And then it keeps the reindeer happy while Santa's busy. Though it is a business, the family gets more from the farm than just monetary value. Seeing everybody, and, uh, and everybody is generally in a happy mood, and that's, that's fun. I like meeting the people in the community and the atmosphere of the whole season. Yes, all are welcome at Christmas Tree Hill. Mom, dad, brother and sister. Even the family dog is welcome at the farm. As long as they keep them on the leash and I don't have to chase them. <laughs> For University Magazine, I'm Paul Joyner.